the Zenvo Aurora. The Aurora comes in two versions. So we have the blue one here. This is called the Tour. It's a more GT road uh, focus car and it's still, of course, a hyper car. So its aerodynamics are insane. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. The front air intake, you can see it uh, in the grill and then you have carbon fiber everywhere. And of course, to let air pass through, uh, basically the whole body is hollowed out. So you can see uh, air passes through and it goes through the suspension. Uh, also helps in you know keeping the brakes cool. Then of course you have uh, very st striking design features like these headlights. You can see the long daytime running lights. So that gives it a very very you know uh, aggressive front uh, or aggressive look. Now coming to the nose, you can see a lot of carbon fiber. You get the Zenvo logo here as well. Now on the side. Uh, there are also very interesting features uh, for the air to flow that you don't really notice right away. You really have to get a closer look to see them. Wheels are fine. You get a central uh, nut system just like in a racing car for you know easy changing. But if you come around here, you can see that there's another uh, way for the air to pass through. And of course, you can see you know the components of the rear suspension. There's a very big uh, side skirt here, carbon fiber again, like the rest of the body. And for the front fender, it's pretty much all exposed to let you know the air out when the front wheel is spinning. So it's very similar to the one you have on, say, uh, the Mercedes AMG one. Check out its video as well. So the air passes through the front and the rear part of the body. Now coming to the back, you can see the engine bay, and of course you have some vents here to let the air out. You know when the engine bay comes hot. And again, the rear suspension in uh, the rear suspension is also visible because uh, you know you have a lot of uh, open fenders and open body. So there's a lot of design details which are very interesting. Then the exhaust is just coming out on the, uh, from the body directly, on, and it's on the top of the body. Then at the bottom you have the diffuser, and you have uh, I believe these are racing lights if I'm not mistaken. There's a wall here, so it's very hard for me to show it uh, properly. So uh, you have, of course, very slim tail lights and um, you know large grills everywhere. So this is the tour model, and now let's have a look at the more interesting Agil model. Uh, of course, there's also a roof scoop here in there, so that of course helps channel air directly into the engine bay. Now I'm not an engineer, but I do notice that there's not enough air intakes that you know uh, that provide air to the engine bay. Aside from that uh, roof scoop, there's n I don't see anything else. So maybe this, these are just prototypes, and maybe the production versions will be slightly different. So uh, now let's talk about the other one. So this is the uh, Agil. This is much more track focused. It's like you know the 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 attack version of the Yasco or the Poor Sport Chiron. So. As you can see, it has a lot of exposed uh, negative space here. You can pretty much see the whole uh, front suspension. You can see the in inner sides of uh, the wheels. That is, of course, not there in uh, the uh, the tour. So it's not just cosmetic changes. These are very, you know, deep changes. Of course, you also get these uh, spoiler wings here that you don't have in the tour. So, the, so this is very similar to the wings you have on the front spoiler of a Formula One racing car. Uh, Actually, this car reminds me of the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which looks absolutely insane. And uh, I got a chance to see two of them recently. So you have um, very open, uh, you know, very large air intakes here, but they're much larger in the Agil version. And how the air escapes from the front fenders is also a little different. You have uh, more of a carbon fiber wing here that reflects air. And of course, it's also connected to the body. And uh, for the rear, you have the same, you know, air, uh, way the air just escape, passes through the body. That's the same thing. But uh, you also get, you know, carbon fiber on top of the engine bay, and you get uh, forged carbon fiber all the going all the way to the back. So you get the Agile logo here on the fuel cap, and uh, again, roof scoop and engine bay cover the same. But the Agile comes with this spoiler wing, and it looks incredible. Of course, it helps in generating downforce. So. All that uh, forged carbon fiber actually connects directly to the uh, car's exhaust. Then you have the slim tail lights, and then the rear uh, diffuser and body. It's slightly different on both the cars. It's not just a difference of uh, you know the rear spoiler wing, and you have a small brake light here, I think. So yeah, if you look at the uh, tour, it's 
sleek and very sporty but the uh, agil takes it a whole step further so agil is called because it's you know more agile now in both the cars you can you get a 6.6 .6 liter quad turbo v12 engine that makes uh, 1450 horsepower uh, you know it's connected to a hybrid system and that's of course if you go for the rear wheel version if you want to have uh, you know four wheel drive for better grip you can go for the all wheel version and that provides you with two extra motors for each wheel total horsepower will be 1850 so that's why the top speed of uh, these cars is around 280 miles per hour or 450 kilometers per hour only 100 euros will be made and prices start from 2.8 million dollars just scroll down and you'll find the link for the video of the Zenvo TS RS.